What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Vault. My name is Money and today I am very carefully driving through a parking lot getting some coffee because I am headed up to the Toy Vault. Oh, the sun. That's not a flattering uh, frame. Let me move. We are headed up to the Toy Vault today because it is Rhode Island Comic Con and they are doing a Pennywise soda with a chase and I don't know anything about it. I really don't care about the Pennywise soda, but any excuse to go to Toy Vault is a plus for me. But the real reason I'm going up to Toy Vault is because I have some friends who are sometimes in the area and they are up here in my state. So I'm gonna go hang out with some uh, FCS homies, get some uh, Pennywise soda, open them up for you guys. It's gonna be a good time. So uh, the sun is not very flattering right now. We're gonna go ahead and end this so I can eat my bagel and drink my coffee. And I will see you guys up there in a few. We out here. What up? Hey Gary, so what's the move here? How many sodas are we buying? Hopefully just two, but we'll see. You think they're not lucky? I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they're doing it by case or if it's all out randomly. Gotcha. We'll have to see how it goes. See what happens. Why is it so sticky? I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Get this man a carriage. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess we're getting back into Pokemon. <laughs> It's always a precursor when they do a mystery mini. Like it's it's coming. You just gotta wait for it. Yeah. What's Jan's cool? I'm so curious. All right, guys, so we are back home from Toy Vault, had a great time, opened up some Pennywise soda, did a lot of shopping around Toy Vault, which is probably one of my favorite spots that I've been to while collecting different things. I mean, they just have so much stuff and they have so much for so many different types of collectors and uh, it's just a really cool spot. So if you guys don't know Toy Vault, I will link them down below in the description. I think they have four different locations and of course, uh, we both share Vault on our names, so I gotta show support, right? So the real reason for going up there, other than of course seeing my dear friends Gary and Madeline, was to open up these Pennywise Rhode Island Comic Con sodas. So it was limit of two per customer, but you know, you, you gotta play the game. I uh, got two for Gary, and as you guys saw in that video, I was lucky enough to have pulled a chase. I of course gave that chase to Gary, because he was the one who can just flew halfway around the room. <laughs> I, of course, gave that chase to Gary because he is the horror collector. I just wanted to hang out and have a good time with my friends. So uh, here is the common Pennywise puck that comes in the bottom. This is one of 12,500. I uh, hope that's hope that's focusing for you guys. And then I have the common Pennywise soda here. Uh, I'm not a soda collector by any means. I won the lottery for Emerald City Comic Con this year, and I actually got the Scott Pilgrim soda where I pulled uh, the chase of each and then the common of each. So I have those yonder way away from where we are right now, but I am trying to get rid of them because the Envy Adam soda was just too far out of my reach. And uh, it's not a rabbit hole that I really want to tumble down anymore. So uh, soda is not really my thing. I have fun opening up the cans. I can't believe I got so lucky opening up a common and then a chase consecutively. So we didn't have to buy like I don't know, eight more cans or something. So we lucked out with that. But of course, when you go there, you got to pick something up for yourself. 
And the first thing that I grabbed was this common Eevee from the new Eevee Lucian's Wave. This is Eevee 626, not to be confused with Stitch. I just realized that now as it came out of my mouth. This is the Eevee, I guess we'll call him Standing Eevee, uh, coming to a Comic-Con near you, a flocked version of this, guaranteed that they're going to skip over some more of these Pokemon and skip right over to another flocked Eevee. This is cool, I guess. You guys can watch me put it into where it belongs here in the set. I don't know, it's not necessary, but I am going to try and keep my uh, Pokemon collection on 100%, so I had to pick it up, and it was on sale, so I figured why not. And I also picked up a common, which is way over here, <laughs> that is Stanley from his Thor Ragnarok cameo. I have both Stanley cameos from Guardians 1 and Guardians 2, and this is the third Stanley that I have here in the collection. So I really don't collect a lot of different Marvel movies. I'm striving to have the entire Endgame set. I'm only a few commons away from that. I have the entire Guardians Volume 2 set, and then I just have a kind of few odds and ends uh, but Ragnarok is one that I think I am going to try in 100% because I'm literally like three or four pops away from it. So why not just pick up the commons and call it a day? So yeah, we pulled the Chase Pennywise for Gary. I was so happy that I was able to get that for him. Grabbed a couple common pops for myself and took a fun trip up the line. So um, if you guys don't follow, we got to have our pops. I'll link their Instagram down below. They're not as active on their YouTube as they used to be, but they're still so active over on IG. So I will link that down below in the description for you, as well as Toy Vault. So you guys can go ahead and try and cop one of these Pennywise sodas for yourselves because it is still available online. However, I will not condone the way that they are shipping things because I've seen some friends in the community like uh, Rock and Row who got his soda all crunched up because Toy Vault doesn't know how to ship. So uh, be wary buying from them online. But if you have the opportunity, definitely go into the store and check it out. It's an awesome spot for collectors. So many different things. Pokemon TCG, Nendoroids, Pops, NECA, you name it. They have everything. I'll link their website down below for you guys. And if you haven't, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me make more content for you guys. And make sure you guys let me know down below in the comments if anything caught your eye from Toy Vault. Uh, I was kind of surprised that they had the Avatar Last Airbender pops in stock because rumor on the street was that those were out of production for a while, but they were getting restocked in January, which is still, I don't know, two months off from now. So if anything caught your eye, make sure you guys drop me a comment down below in the description. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys soon.